y'all, so today I'm going to give you a Primark haul. It's not that interesting because it's mainly like basic stuff, but I know people on YouTube seem to love Primark hauls, so I thought I'd treat you to one of these. I've booked a holiday in Santorini in Greece uh, for July, so I really wanted to feel excited about it and feel like it was just around the corner, even though it isn't. And I always find going holiday shopping kind of does that for you. It gets you in the mood, makes you think that you are literally on the cusp of getting in the sun and relaxing and feeling great. So that was my plan. Oh, so gosh. first up, this dress that I'm wearing here. I guess you can wear it like that if you like, or you can wear it like that, whatever floats your boat. I just wanted a, a white summer dress and all the ones I've been coveting on New Look and Misguided were a bit expensive for, you know, cotton fabric essentially. So I knew uh, that Primark would deliver one and yes it did, so that's number one item. Up next is this little, it's kind of a 90s top, it's not quite a halter, I guess it's almost like a racer back kind of style. It almost looks like um, denim, that's the kind of feel that it's got, but it's ribbed, it's stretchy, um, and it's high neck, which is what I'm looking for at the moment. I'm not someone that likes to show my baps too much, if I'm honest. And that was, I don't know if I said it, that was five pounds. Next up, another high-waisted uh, top, and this is Got ribbing again, um, grey, so might not be good on sweaty days because you know how grey shows up the soot marks. But it is good for me to get these high high neck tops because in summer I tend to suffer a bit from um, acne on my on my chest for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know if the sun brings it out or what, but something goes on there. So I need to invest in some high neck tops so I can still look summery, but. I'm not showing that off too much. Next up, this little crop. They have them in a few different colours, but I thought I'd opt for safety and go for a cream one. I figured it would look um, best with the tan out of all the colours. Um, it's quite stretchy and comfortable, this one. I thought it might be a bit stiff and um, scratchy, but it's really nice to wear. Um, so that can be put over your bikini or on a really hot day, which I imagine Greece is going to be hot most days. You can just wear that with your shorts. And that was five pounds too. I don't know where they went or who's got them or what festival has taken ownership of them, but I lost my favorite black denim high-waisted shorts. They fitted perfectly. They're my go-to jean shorts, so pretty devastated about that. So, there are some ones I had found in Miss Selfridge that I thought they are ideal, but they're £28 and I just think for denim shorts that's a little bit much for me to spend at the moment. Um, so I went to Primark and I found these for £10. They've got more distressing than I would really like on them. I prefer just a bit more subtle distressing, I think, because I'm a bit older. Um, but the fit is not bad at all. Um, they're comfortable. And, like I said, they're quite cheap, so bonus, bonus, I'm quite pleased with them, to be honest. I don't think you can ever have too many striped items in your wardrobe. A Breton top is always going to be in fashion, it's always going to be classics, stylish, it can look chic, it can look cute. So, love stripes as a general rule. I found this high neck, um, slim fit, another ribbed stretchy material again, um, top. And it, it, this one's nice because it does cover the midriff if you don't want to go for the crop top look, which some days you really don't feel like you can do when you've got a bloat on. Um, got this in a size 10 so it's a bit more comfy. Yeah, so not much more you can say about that, but I think I will get a lot of wear out of that. And again, it's got the turtleneck thing going on. As I'm going through this, I'm starting to realise I've gone a bit overboard on the tops. Whoopsie. Um, this one makes me feel a bit better because it's only 150 and this is just kind of a boob top. So it's really handy to put under, you know, those tops that don't really lend themselves well to wearing a bra underneath. So maybe the ones that have like the gaps down the side or have intricate straps, you can pop this underneath instead. Obviously some of us need a little bit more support, so it's not for everyone. But for holiday, I thought this would be quite useful. 
yet again I think I probably should have gone for a bigger size so there might be some nipples escaping this holiday keep an eye out this just kind of a, a sagey green mile top quite loose fitting uh, with a tie detail at the front very casual one of those easy breezy tops that you just chuck on um, nothing special but really really useful and that was only three pounds so I thought that was that was a good deal there as I said you can't have enough stripy tops so here's another stripy top yeah so this one is I don't know if you can tell on camera but it is slightly see-through no you can't really tell on camera um, so if you wore like a yellow top underneath or a bright colored top underneath it would show through so you kind of can change up how the top looks long sleeve which is nice for those days that not quite hot and summery. Um, nice thin, just feels nice to wear. Um, but this one is more crop style. So if you don't want to show too much midriff, wear with high waisted jeans. But if you want to get all your, your belly out, then wear it with your low rises and just rock it. So yeah. So this, oh God, this is annoying. See, this is a problem. You're going to end up not doing one or the other get down there boy so four pounds this top and this is just a simple white um, vest I guess it's slightly high high necked but not as high as some of them um, it's quite see-through so you will see a bra through so maybe you can wear like a really nice fancy colorful bra and make a statement out of it if not I guess a nude or a white one is the way you want to go um, it feels really nice and soft actually but I think this will be worn mainly on holiday just to pop over my bikini on the way to the beach, that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I like this one. It's a nice long length as well. Right, so this this one, the controversial one. I am denied over this for a bit because I don't know how I feel about wearing a Primark uh, rock t-shirt, to be honest. I really like the design of it. I like the fact it's got, you know, the, the feature back. I love how bold it is, I love the colours, but just knowing that bands rely so heavily on merch to fund what they do, I don't know, I felt a bit funny about it, but then I thought Nirvana, you know, they're sorted on, on that front and it's not, it's not like it's a young band that are struggling and I'm sure they've sorted out some sort of deal where they get some money for this, because otherwise I'm sure they wouldn't be allowed to do it. Um, yeah, I did feel a bit funny about it, but um, so I th I'm not sure if I'll keep it or not, but I thought this would be so nice to sleep in because generally I just sleep in some old boxes or in the nuddy, but sometimes it's not appropriate to be in the nuddy when you're on a press trip or <laughs> staying at someone's house, so I thought that'd be a nice t-shirt for bed. What do you think about the whole band t-shirt from Primark thing? I don't know. So I thought to myself, I've got a bikini. I'm only going away for a week, so do I really need to buy a new bikini to wear for six days of this year? Probably not. But then I found this one in Primark, which I really liked. I thought it was really cute. Um, and the good thing about this one is it's got removable straps, so you can wear it strapless, you can wear it as a halter, you can wear it all different ways. I think there's three different ways. Um, Unfortunately, I tried it on. I got an H top, and it just feels like the like against the boobs, like they're smacked down. Um, so they're like flat and squashed rather than supported and uppity. So I think I might have to go for a ten. I have trouble with my boobs because they they fluctuate all the time. I don't know if anyone else has this. Like when they're big, they've been like E's, and then they go down to probably like C or D. And, you know, I never have a bra that fits. So I'm either like move, the boobs moving around in the cup like that, or it's like bursting out and you get that double boob thing. So um, if you look at me and think I've got weird boobs, it's just my bra. They're not, well, they're not great boobs, but they're, they're not weird. Um, anyway, a bit too much info there. Anyway, so I'm gonna have to change this, sadly, effort, um, but yeah cute design I thought. I toyed with getting the traditional looking espadrilles that were in there which were really cute but then I thought to myself 
will I want to wear them season after season because my old Primark sandals I've worn for three years in a row, don't judge me, um, and they've lasted so I figured I'd go for something that is a bit more um, versatile, a bit more long lasting, a bit more classic and I went for just these, these black sandals. They've got an espadrille feel because they've got that, that woven bit there but they're more like a classic gladiator sandal and I thought black goes with everything. Um, just try them on, they're really comfortable. So I will be keeping those. I don't know about you, but on holiday, I don't really want to faff with heels too much. I wanna be comfortable. So I generally only wear sandals and flip flops and things and Converse or Vans or whatever on a holiday. So they will be a lovely addition. Finally, up these shoes, which, from looking at the screen, look at blue on the screen, but they are actually a very strong purple colour. Um, I bought these shoes in black and they have become a really useful addition to my wardrobe because some days you want to look smart and like you've made an effort, but you really can't bear wearing heels or you've maybe got to walk somewhere that isn't suitable for heels, but they still look a bit dressy. But they can also be casual as well because they are essentially just flats, so you can just wear them with jeans and a nice white shirt. And I just thought, this is a beautiful colour, why not get them in this colour as well? And at only, I think they were six pounds, I mean, you can't really go wrong. I will say though, don't wear them if you're going to be walking around all day um, a lot because essentially you are walking on bare feet. You see here, your feet is pretty much touching the ground so your feet do become very tired when you wear these. But that said, for an evening out they are such a blissful alternative to wearing heels. So yeah, that's my Primark haul for this time round. All of that stuff together was less than 80 quid which I think you'll agree is not bad going. Um, where are you guys going off on holiday? Anyone nice? Have you done your shopping yet? Um, any summer finds you've had, let me know in below. Any other hauls or videos or fashion type ones you want me to do, let me know. I'd like to mix it up. I like doing the odd fashion video here and there. So let me know what you like to see. Um, thanks for watching again. And if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe, subscribe that would be really lovely um i know i'm not one of the big guns um but it's still incredible to me that there's you know a few hundred or thousand of you tuning in every so often so thank you if you are one of those bye